Alright guys, this goes out to the forum members at IHateMud.com. That's the letter I, letter H, the number 8, MUD.com. As promised, this is my review of the uh, Bluetooth ODB 2. This is an ELM 327. You can find this on Amazon or eBay. Just make sure you get the one that's blue and yellow as you saw in the picture. About 15 bucks all day long. This is my custom setup for my gauges on this particular screen of Torque. Torque is a uh, Android system. This is on my touchpad. It's a full Android capable device from the SideGen mod. Here's what it looks like when you first start it up. Um, this also has the ability to clear your fault codes. Pretty much every single one of them that aren't related to safety issues like uh, airbag sensors, you cannot turn those off. I had a Cadillac converter that kept popping the the uh, ECM, so I reset that several times until I got that fixed, which was nice. But you're presented with this when you first open Torque. You can see real-time information. My RPMs now just size 700, so I'll go to uh, real-time information. This is the default screen that I've laid out. Um, you have five screens of which you can customize the layout of your gauges. Um, I chose to go with digital displays because I like to see the real-time uh, readings of a lot of things. You can see here that uh, I have a lot of gauges, but there's a couple of blank screens where you can throw more gauges in. Um, you just hold it down, you choose Add Display, and then you're presented with what kind of display do you want. Do you want dial, meters, dial, gauges, half dials, bars, graphs, digitals, I mean, tons to choose from. So customizing this is limited only by your own imagination. Um, you can lay out any number of these in any different types on a page. So let's go ahead and just pick one again here. Um, I'm going to choose Digital Display, and then you'll see here... Um, everything in green is what the ECM is getting right now. This is what you can use for um, for your dial. So you can see the blue information right underneath each each gauge as it's listed. That's actually real-time information from the ECM. So there are a ton of of sensor information that you can pull from the 80 series minus the 96. Um, really, there are just a ton of things you can pull from this and it will actually show you the last value and current value as you're going through this which is really great so fuel trim banks your fuel flow rate um, your mass airflow sensor your uh, um, air intake temperature barometric pressure the entire nine yards so I'm just going to choose large here for the mass airflow sensor if you don't like it where it's at just drag it over let go there you go if you don't like that gauge you just hold it and then drag it into the trash can and start a new one um, you'll see my gauges here when I scroll back a page. I do have the uh, uh, miles per gallon. Um, I have not plugged in my vehicle profile for this particular vehicle in this version of Torque on my touchpad. That was for another vehicle. So when you see the 25.8 uh, miles to a gallon, you're going to wish like I did that that was true there on the right. We could only hope for 25.8 on the the land tanks. But anyhow, there you go. That's my my review of the device, I think for 20 bucks, this is something every Land Cruiser owner should have that has an ODB2 or above. It's just the amount of information you get for the price you're paying. I paid 5 bucks for the app because I thought it was so well written that uh, the guy that wrote it deserved, deserved the 5 bucks. It's been one of the cheapest mods I've got for the Land Cruiser yet.